Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Rocket Guard Dragon Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post Savage Strike. I wanted to do an update to the Rocket deck with the Guard Dragon support that we received in the Savage Strike booster pack. Uh, the deck profile I did after Savage Strike was a pure Rocket deck profile that focused uh, solely on just, you know, uh, the generic Dragon support with the Rocket monsters, but I've been playing with the Guard Dragon support and I've become a very big fan of just, you know, the whole... Uh, purpose of the guard dragons in the deck as a whole including the you know spells and the uh, link monsters that we have and they overall just work very very well with the uh, rocket dragons uh, themselves just for a whole bunch of different link and special summon plays you can do so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile and i plan to also do an update to the rocket deck post dual power depending on how many rocket cards uh, we get in that set as well i think we have a couple Link monster so far, so I want to wait and see if we get any more also. To get started, I run three Magna Rocket Dragon uh, with this one. Uh, like all the rocket uh, monsters, when a Link Monster's effect is activated that targets uh, this face-up card on the field, it's a quick effect. You can destroy this card, then uh, send one monster on the field to the graveyard. And then during the end phase of this card is in the graveyard, because it was destroyed on the field by a battle or a card effect and sent there this turn, you can special summon one rocket monster from your deck except Magna Rocket Dragon. You can only use each effect uh, once per turn. So those of you that are familiar with the Rocket Dragons, they all share the same destruction effect, and then they all share a different uh, effect based on you know what type of rocket they are. Magna Rocket, I would say, is definitely one of the important ones just for that send effect being very, very powerful against your opponent for sure and the cards they use. Uh, same goes to Auto Rocket Dragon. This one has the uh, send a spell or trap. Basically the same as Magna Rocket, just a little more um, weaker attack and defense wise, but the send a spell or trap definitely does come in handy since it sends it, it doesn't destroy it, so depending on what type of deck you go up against with your opponent, you can really take care of a lot of pesky uh, spell or traps that you would either, you know, have a uh, destruction effect if you were to destroy it like normal means. So three auto rocket, moving back and forth between the two, I would say is definitely one of the most powerful plays you can do in the deck for sure. And I also run two Anis the Rocket Dragon. Now the reason I bumped this card up to two is just so I can have options um, for making Borload Savage Dragon with our tuner that we run in the deck. We, one of them is Rocket Synchron. You need uh, some pretty big dragons. Anis the Rocket just happens to adjust the level pretty well uh, with being a level one and depending on what other you know dragons I have on the field to make uh, Savage Dragon. And the effect negation and attack prevention is just another good reason. I tested it and bumped it up to two and I have liked the results uh, so far from doing so. And I also run one Metal Rocket Dragon and one Shell Rocket Dragon. I decided to bump these down to one just because they're kind of more situational plays for your rockets. And you can always special summon them back to the field with your other cards in the deck like Boot Sector Launch. So you can reuse them, but like Shell Rocket having to destroy adjacent columns and then Metal Rocket the whole column. A little more situational than some of the other dragons we run in the deck for sure. But I still like running them just for the options of different ones to special summon off depending on which other rocket monster does get destroyed. And I also run two Rocket Synchrons. Still like the two of this. When it is normal summon, you can target one level five or higher dark dragon monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense, uh, and negate its effects, destroy it during the end phase. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except dark monsters. So not really limited uh, to too much from that either. I have a special uh, dragon for sure that I like to run in the extra deck, which we'll get to uh, when we go over the extra deck. That works very, very well with Rocket Synchron when you can make it, so... Definitely look forward to seeing that. And that is it for the Rocket Monsters. For other generic support, I run one Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Just easy special summoning from the graveyard. Very easy to special summon out to the field just by banishing a Dragon Monster. A true powerhouse for sure. And just that special summon can really make up for a lot of different cards for sure when you want to get them out to the field. I also run one Destrudo. I only need the one. I have plenty of ways to get it into the graveyard uh, to use for the special summon by paying half your life. It's also a tuner and pretty important for the uh, additional dragon synchro play uh, from the extra decks as well. And I also run two Gateway Dragon, just another easy special summon um, onto the field if your opponent controls a Link Monster, which it's gotten much easier to summon out since more and more people use the uh, Link Monsters in their decks. So very, very helpful there for sure as well. 
And then also just that extra special summon definitely does come in handy for sure against your opponent. And I also am testing out, lastly, for the dragons, two White Dragon Wyver Buster and one Collapse Serpent. I run two Wyver Buster and one Collapse Serpent just because the fact that all the dragons we ran beforehand are uh, dark. So very, very easy. Two special summon out Wyver Buster. Just the one Collapse Serpent is so I have the search target for uh, Wyver Buster. And then when I send Collapse Serpent, depending on what link summons I go for, I have uh, one final search to go for. I think the only negative consequence is whenever I draw Collapse Serpent, but then Wyvern Buster is just an easy special summon by banishing a Dark Dragon from the graveyard to make use of, especially with the Guard Dragons in the deck. It definitely does come in handy. And that is it for the monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. I run three Quick Launch, just an easy special summon of a Rocket from your deck. It cannot attack and destroy it during the end phase, so you just have options for more resources on the field, and the fact that you destroy it means that you'll get the special summon off the Rocket as well. And I also run three Squid Draw with this one. It's a target one rocket monster you control, destroy it, and if you do, draw two cards, and you can only activate one Squid Draw per turn. So kind of like a very easy, uh, you know, Allure of Darkness to use with the deck, just for the fact that you'll make use of the destruction of the Rocket Dragon as well. So just that easy quick play spell you can set and set up for some of your other ones on the field if your opponent was to try and destroy them. Then you can just destroy them yourself and get the draw power off. And I also run three Boot Sector Launch. Uh, this card's just been very, very helpful in every Rocket deck profile, just for the setup and the special summon, depending on where you special summon from, whether it be from your hand or the graveyard, especially when your opponent has that monster setup and you get this late game and have plenty of Rockets in your graveyard to special summon out. You'll special summon out the difference and then just have those resources to go with. And with the Guard Dragons, the new spell, World Legacy Guard Dragon, uh, when this card is activated, you can target one level 4 lower dragon monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, or special summon it. And once per turn, you can target one dragon monster you control, move that monster you control to another of your main monster zones, and you only, can only activate one World Legacy Guard Dragon per turn. This special summon uh, definitely does help with your Link Summon plays, but being able to move the Guard Dragon monsters with how their arrows are positioned, uh, just getting them into the main monster zone gives you more options, and with their own effects as well. A very, very important spell card to run in the deck for sure for those movements. The special summon is a definite bonus, but you definitely need um, this card so you can move them into the main monster zone to use. And I also run three Dragon Shrine. I most of the time use it for Frisson, but being able to set up my other uh, dragons as well in the graveyard for the Rockets definitely does come in handy. Or you can even, you know, just reuse Frisson next turn as well since Dragon Shrine is a once per turn, but still very, very useful when I draw this card for sure. Because then I can even put Rockets in the graveyard to special summon back with cards like Boot Sector Launch, you name it. And then one Foolish Burial, if I open up Dragon Shrine and Foolish Burial, I have the option to send the two, since, um, like I said, Dragon Shrine is once per turn. But just having this additional send option is very, very helpful uh, as well. And I also run two Allura Darkness. I drop this down to two just for the fact that I do run Squid Draw, so I have plenty of uh, draw power. But most of the time with the Guard Dragons being uh, Link 1s and 2s, you should have plenty of resources in your hand already to go for those plays. Opening the Guard Dragon spell also is very important when you want to go for your Guard Dragon monsters. And then lastly, to finish off the spells, two terraforming. This is just to search out the boot sector launch, since, like I said, it's very, very important for a lot of your Rocket Dragon special summon plays. And also, one monster reborn, being able to reborn some of your uh, Link monsters just into better positions when you don't have the uh, World Legacy Guard Dragon spell card. Being able to, you know, obviously link with the Guard Dragon monsters and then special summon them back to the field with cards like this is just very, very helpful for sure. And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra. I run one Boral Load Dragon and one Boral Sword Dragon, two of your big monsters you aim to go for in the Rocket deck. Just very, very helpful for uh, the plays for sure. If you don't have Boral Sword, um, you can put Boral Guard in. I don't run the card in the deck anymore just because I think these two are much better um, you know, pressure against your opponent. So um, going into either one, depending on if you want to take their monsters or just finish them off for game, you have those options available to you. But I know Boral Sword is kind of pricey. So if you want to play as a more more budget kind of build, Boral Guard is definitely your answer since it does have another target effect to use with your rocket monsters. 
And then for the Guard Dragon monsters, I run one Guard Dragon LP and one Guard Dragon Pisty. They both require one level four or lower Dragon monster to make. And their arrows, as you can see, they need to be better positioned in the main monster zone to use their abilities, um, which um, their effects can literally let you special summon uh, dragon monsters from different uh, places, whether it be the deck or your hand or graveyard, with LP being able to special summon uh, from the hand or deck. And then Pisty can open and special summon uh, dragons that are banished or in your graveyard. So whether you summon, you know, like banish them with a lot of darkness, it's just very, very helpful. Uh, and you just have to have their arrows positioned so that there are two arrows pointing to them. And another one that helps with that is Guard Dragon Agar Pain. I run two of this one. It just needs two dragon monsters. If you can set this card up in the extra monster zone, which is the main point there, and then you also summon out Pisty, then like let's say from the graveyard, or you move it with World Legacy Guard Dragon, you have the two spots there. And Agar Pain can also special summon from the extra deck, so that's very, very strong as well with that option available to you. So giving that free dragon spot is one of the great plays about the Guard Dragon monsters for sure. And I also run one Link Karibo with the Guard Dragons. Also remember you're kind of limited to special summon and only dragon monsters out on the field. But I still like to run some of the other generic options when they do come up if you don't have them on the field. So one Link Karibo, one Wee Witch's Apprentice, since a good majority of the monsters you run in the deck are dark. Also one Summon Sorceress, just easy special summon. And one Top of Logic Trisbana for... Uh, more destruction plays, triple burst, great for attacking, and bomber dragon for easy destruction of cards in the main monster zone. And then for the synchros, the one I was talking about is Ancient Pixie Dragon. I've actually been testing this card out and I really do like the results in the deck. Very easy to make this card with Frissen with its level adjustment. And after resolving a field spell that was activated during uh, your turn, draw one card. You can only use this effect of Ancient Pixie Dragon once per turn. And once per turn, you can target one face up attack position monster on the field, uh, destroy that target. There must be a face up field spell on the field to activate and resolve this effect. So we obviously have the field spell to use with Ancient Pixie Dragon. So very, very good when you can do that. The fact that you can just set up Frissen and then have Frissen target one of your monsters and then have the level seven right then and there to go for is the main reason I really do like Ancient Pixie Dragon in the deck. And then just having um, that destruction power is much stronger as well. But also if you lose or if you use Ancient Pixie Dragon, being able to then use your Rocket Synchron which, like I said, when it's normal summon, you can target one level five or higher dark dragon in your graveyard and special summon it. In defense, it negates its effects, but this right here can be your main setup, and it's one I've used a lot for going into your next dragon that you run, which is Borlode Savage Dragon, which being able to attach the link monsters to it, it gives it its counters and its negate effects, so very big powerhouse for sure for the deck as well. And then lastly, I just run one Black Rose Dragon. This one just helps for, uh, once again, field destruction. Uh, multiple times you use Frissen, depending on what you do, just like as that last synchro option in the deck for sure. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, I was very happy uh, with the results of the Guard Dragon deck. It's a lot of fun for the Rockets as well, so be sure to give it a shot. And I really do hope, like I said, to update the deck when Dual Power is released, uh, depending on how many Rocket cards we get in that set as well. So definitely look forward to it. But until then, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.